Hello there, doll lovers. So, I'm going to open my World Peacekeeper action doll today. I've been slightly delayed. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment. We ran, did some errands and whatnot, but then... Well, that, that was the day before. Then yesterday I slammed my hand into the freezer door. So, yeah, without further delay, let's get this open. Alright, so this is the sniper, and it also says mercenary in parentheses. I went to Big Lots, and he was $13. I'm pretty sure Big Lots is the only place that you really can find these things. Mom, so. is it to open it? Yes, I'm going to open it. Okay. Alright, so this has got the old-fashioned uh, twisty tie wires in the back. Like how all of us kids of the 90s had to rescue our Barbies from their packaging. But, you know, I, uh, I kind of miss that sometimes. It's a little fun to get them all taken out. Mom, can you give them I, I okay. Alright, so here, I want you to hold on to these. Okay? okay. Alright, you're going to be my little helper. Okay. Uh, uh. Alright. And then those pieces. Alright, so yes, if this was bought during a major shopping haul day, uh, we did a whole family outing and we just went place to place. And see, he just comes out super easy. He doesn't have any plastic pins pinning him to the cardboard of the box. And so, um, you know, I went to thrift store, thrift store, we went to a yard sale, we also uh, went to the flea market, all that, so it was just like, there was so much uh, running around that I was exhausted at the end of the day. So I didn't want to review anything, plus I wanted to wash the dolls that I did get, and then I photographed them, posted some pictures on Instagram, and I was still like, yeah, I gotta get to my world peacekeeper, but uh, I just wasn't feeling all that good, so I put it off. And then today, I'm like, I'm not gonna let anything get in my way, and I'm gonna get it done, bandaged arm or not. So we're just gonna put the cardboard insert back into the box. All right, goody goody gum shoes. All right, let's take a look at his accessories. All right, so this goes around his chest. It is a belt, little buckle here that, aha, there we go. All right, so this goes over his shoulders. It's a harness. All right, this also is uh, some sort of backpack. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is one of those um, water pouches, so you, you have it on your back and then you've got this little tube so that way you can just suck on it you don't have to open it up get a bottle of water and all that and he comes with a cap and it's plastic but it's very well detailed it actually has the stitch markings and it's really it's really nice and then we have binoculars which actually come with an elastic band on them so he can wear them around his neck. That's pretty cool. And all of these items, the uh, military stuff here, is that very dark olive military green. The hat is black. All right, so let's take a look at him. So my Big Lots had all six of the World Peacekeepers, so I took a look, I laid them all out, and you know, there were uh, two African Americans, and three Caucasians, and then there was one Asian. And I really didn't want to uh, pick something where um, I ended up kind of regretting later because you know how it goes with uh, storage and uh, stock. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go after the articulated Asian male because you know, otherwise I'm gonna have to like buy an integrity toys and I don't have the money for that. <laughs> I don't. So let's get his sniper rifle off. And this is a nice gun. 
oh my goodness this is very well detailed it has its scope the trigger this band here is elastic that's like if I were tiny enough I could actually shoot this this is just really well crafted and correctly colored as well all right so Asian male here is wearing blue jeans a white shirt and some boots I'm gonna take off these little things uh, come on okay so he does have articulated ankles he's got these uh, ankle high uh, rock climbing kind of style uh, men's shoe and it's brown and it's got the khaki color lacings and rubber sole to the uh, foot of it which is great he does have molded on black gloves but that's fine I can work with that his wrists are articulated so is his elbow he can also rotate his upper arm like a made-to-move Barbie his neck has okay so he can yeah he can rotate it but articulation. it's but it's yes articulation it's best it's not a lot but it's a little bit he is wearing dog tags it's got two of them let's see what it says on the dog tag if I could stop dropping it it says world peacekeeper not surprised <laughs> all right we're gonna take the pants off the pants actually open up in the front which is great because the back of it has the proper detail of not having a velcro strip down it as you can see there's real pockets and he's got belt loops all the way around uh, and of course it would help if I took off the other shoe so that way I could take his pants off properly I hope I don't break there <clears throat> all right hold that okay oh all right so uh Wow, this guy has got the articulated body like a made-to-move Barbie. See how this line here? So he can rotate his thighs outward. He's got the bendable knee, the flexible ankle. All right, so the shirt does not have any fasteners, no Velcro, no buttons. So this is actually like a real t-shirt where you have to slide it up over your head to get it off. Get the gloves off? No, sorry baby girl, his gloves have to stay on his hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I don't know if there would be a, a way to be able to take them off without breaking the hinge to it, so I'm not even going to try. Okay. And look at how ripped he is. This man works out. He also has a uh, an upper torso articulation as well as right here at the waist. So he can turn his waist and he can also flex a little bit. It's not much, but it is a little. It's definitely more than Ken. Okay, so he can really squat down to be able to get into those tight positions where snipers sometimes have to go. So with just the exception of his hands being uh, with molded gloves, uh, this guy is like a 10 across the board. And of course, look at that very handsome face with realistic Asian qualities to his features with the uh, narrow eyes and the nose the way his lips are and even though they're pink it's not it's not garish you know and his hair is molded but it's fine because you have this texture you know if I scratch my nails along it you can see there's individual lines where his hair is Okay, so this is marvelous. I am definitely going to go back to Big Lots to get the rest of these guys because holy moly guacamole, their bodies are awesome. The thing is though, is because of the way their necks are, there's no way, because the head and the neck is one piece. And the articulation happens at the collarbone. 
So there's no way you could take this off and put a Ken head on there. But that's fine, because they've already made a couple Caucasians and African Americans, and they're all very handsome fellas. And uh, there is one of them that isn't wearing gloves right here. So he can pass for regular day outfits, but all the rest wear gloves. They've all got guns. They've all got military gear. They are all wearing dog tags. Uh, they all come with some sort of hat, helmet, or camouflage gear to cover their head. Some of them are wearing uh, khaki boots. Others are wearing black boots. Uh, the guy that is has uh, clean hands, basically, he has uh, flippers on his shoes. So he does some sort of uh, aquatic uh, surveillance more than likely and these are uh and yeah one of the black guys has got a mustache so they they look great these are really handsome dudes and i just gotta give props for them because it's like these are 13 dollars, which actually makes them slightly cheaper than made to move barbie and uh they're they're a perfect match they have pretty much all the same articulation that the made to moves do. So I'm and I mean look, he's he's even got nipples. So it's like it's nice when they have the uh, an anatomically correct uh, features. And you know, of course they're gonna, you know, just make modeled underwear, but at least it's tan colored. So it's not that horrible bright white or whatever that you can kind of see through uh, when you have them in other clothes. Could you please quit grabbing at it, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay? okay? Thank you. All right, so I haven't quite figured uh, a name for him yet, but I do have a couple of dolls that are going to be very happy to meet him. So at least let's get him his pants back on. Yeah. And I am definitely going to have to try out some of my kid clothes on him. And I think maybe the older style Ken clothes will fit better because Ken nowadays is not nearly muscular enough. So something like, you know, this is not going to be good. Uh, I have to say though, the pants rise up a little high, but I'm not complaining. It's good. It's all good because the detail on the pants, there's real pockets. I can stick my finger in these pockets and I can actually feel a bottom you know like and it's like it even has that that tiny little pocket where guys like to stick their lighters in you know it's uh you, you don't get that everything from Barbie is all it's like screen printed on this is actually sewn on for real so these definitely are, sh are showing up major line Mattel I don't even know what company makes these. I'm like, uh, MNC Toy Center LTD. And then a lot of everything else is printed in another language, but it comes from Hong Kong. So, yeah, they at least, they're doing it right. Alright, so, uh, thank you guys very much for sticking with me through this uh, doll review and uh, there will definitely be more because my birthday is in just a few more days and I don't know which toy I'm getting but I know it's gonna either be a uh, Monster High Frightmare or a Descendants, Disney Descendants uh, character from uh, where we get it, uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, so, yeah, I did pick out some of my birthday slash Christmas gifts, but we were there, we had the money, so it was a matter of just, I, I had put it out of mind for a while, and, uh, I just, I want to be surprised with whichever one I get, and I know that it's not my only gift, so, I you know, it's still, you know, one of those things. Uh, let's see, he can't really hold his uh, binoculars that well, but that's okay, because 
you know, as long as you've got the straps on his thumbs, there you go. All right. Well, uh, where's the hat? Do you have the hat, sweetie? I found it. All right. Thank you. Let's see what the hat looks like on his head. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Booyah. All right. Bye, everybody.